As troopers, we know the importance of securing loads because we see the negative impacts of road debris every day. We recently responded to a crash in which an unsecured load came very close to seriously injuring or killing a Layton woman as she drove north on I-15 through Davis County. The two other lanes of cars move, and then it was just that instant that I saw this object. And at first I didn't see what it was, and I start to try to move out of its way, and then I realized that it was a still beam, a big still beam coming at me, and just think I'm gonna die. I just literally let's let go that I'm gonna die. It pivots and spears through and I just slam on my brakes. It was like a shotgun went off. It was so loud and it just exploded into, I mean, I was just showered. My whole car was showered in, in glass. Corporal Chris Jones, who responded to Nikki's crash, says in his 20 year career, he's seen a lot of road debris. A lot of times when we have things that come off of cars, it's because they were not secured properly. We deal with road hazards every day. It's one of our most common calls for service. In fact, over the last three years, troopers have responded to calls for debris over 78,000 times. That's an average of 71 calls for debris per day. All of that adds up to a lot of dangerous and potentially deadly unsecured loads. My miraculous story of surviving it is given me like severe anxiety, not just for me, but for everybody else too. It's terrifying now because you just see things on the side of the road and you just start to get anxiety because you're like, how did that tire come off? What happened to those people, you know? For both the Utah Highway Patrol and Nikki Saunders, the message the public needs to hear is clear. Make sure you secure your load no matter how far you're going. It's your, your obligation as a driver to make sure the things in your car stay in your car. I believe that there needs to be like more awareness that, hey, I'm about to operate this vehicle that is carrying possibly deadly stuff on it.